When you flush the toilet in your house, do the pipes and the walls rattle? Well, it's starting to happen in my house, and I think we're going to try and fix it. Stick around. I'm John with Wilder Home Inspections. Uh, if you end up finding this video useful, be sure to subscribe and like. All right, let's go take a look. Okay, so here's the toilet in question. Every time the toilet gets flushed, uh, when it's basically when it's done filling up, the pipes and, and the walls all throughout the house start to shake. Well, there seems to be some type of uh, cavitation going on, is the best way that I can describe it. And anyway, as I come in over to here, it sounds like water is continuing to run, but there's no water coming out of the hose. I don't see any water that's draining out. If I open the lid, and there's no water that seems to be flowing in there. But when I come and I shut off the water at the shutoff valve down below, uh, it stops making the noise. So here's what I think that it is. Do you see that little crack in there? I believe that is what's causing the pipes in the house to rattle. I'm not even kidding. It's just not getting the proper seal. So even though I don't have all the exact matching parts at my disposal, I do think that we can fix this. And the reason why I think that it's this part is, let me go ahead and turn back on the water. And you can hear the noise. And if I pull up on this, it stops. So let's see what we can do. Step one is turning off the water. Step two will be flushing the toilet. And I'm just going to hold down the handle so that all the water goes down. Or at least as much as possible. Step three is going to be to disconnect the water from coming in to replace this part. Step three turns out to be self-realization and that I'm lazy. And I'm just going to try and see if I can't just swap out these parts. As you can see, I just used a flathead to pop it off of there. One of the things I hope that you grow to appreciate with this channel is that I'm doing things live in a sense. In other words, I don't know what's going on. I know that I have the problem. Uh, I didn't troubleshoot it beforehand. We just started filming it and we're going to dive into it. As you can see, I'm lazy. There's no plan here is what I'm getting at. I've taken it apart because uh, I don't want to take the rest of it off because there's going to be water. I don't have to put a bucket. I'm just being lazy and it's going to end up maybe costing me more time. But here's what I'm going to try and do. This is what I'm getting at. There's a little crack here. The screw's not setting on it right. I'm guessing if I can find a washer of some kind, uh, small enough to fit in there, the space between the screw that's sitting on it, that it's going to seal. The diaphragm didn't seem to have any cracks in it. I'll show you what I'm talking about when we get back inside. I think that just that small little kind of fix, a little, a little MacGyver uh, rig in there is, is going to fix it. So I'm looking for a washer real quick. Which should be... It should be perfect, maybe. A little flat washer. So kind of what you've missed out on in, in the process is, is that I do have this new one, at least I had it in the garage of this house that I bought uh, back in December. They left a little plumbing repair kit. But the problem is, is this is the size that goes in and this is the size that came out and there may be a little adapter in there but i'm not going to dive that far into it this old one this is the diaphragm that i'm talking about that goes in here and this is where the sucking's coming from is because i believe we're going to find out is that this is cracked and so it's just not getting the proper seal so we're going to put one of these little washers that i found in there as a spacer to kind of give it more of an umph as it pushes down and let's see what happens
Okay. Oh shit. Pause. <laughs> There's always something I forget to do. Put that back in there. Turn on the water. And let's see what happens. So good. <laughs> Step four is to realize that you're an idiot and just go with plan A to begin with. Hopefully you learned two things from me in this video. One, most importantly, I'm an idiot. Two, it's a lot easier and faster to do things uh, the right way the first time. Now I'm well aware of that. You should learn that, but I can't seem to get it through my thick skull even though that I say that I know it. I'm gonna continue to try and find shortcuts. Uh, that shortcut didn't work for me. Um, I just couldn't get it to work. It kept making the, the pipe still you know, shutter and cavitate and stuff. But anyway, I put in the new um, stem or uh, supply valve or whatever that it's called, this, this component here. I just basically replaced this. Uh, and anyway, the walls shouldn't shake anymore. Fingers crossed, water's back on. Ta-da! Uh, I don't know if it's a ta-da worthy moment or not, but um, the pipes have stopped doing the whole shake in the house. And uh, now the, the kids will stop thinking there's ghosts and maybe the wife might even be happy too, especially if I can wash and dry these towels in time before she gets home. If you haven't already, subscribe, stay tuned, there'll be more. Thanks. <laughs>